Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a couple of products from Glorious. Uh, these were sent out to me for review. I um, have the Polychroma RGB translucent keycaps for vibrant lighting. Now, I've actually I've reviewed a couple of Glorious sets and I actually, I like them. I think they're well made, they're thick, they sound good. The only thing that I have a complaint about and I have I have expressed it not that I think that it's been listened to is that they don't have an alternate enter key all their enter keys are ascend and it to me it's like okay I'm a, we're gonna shove our brand right up your throat because if you're gonna use the keycaps because you like them then you want an energy key, you're going to have a send. And every time you press it or look at it, you're going to think of glorious. And I mean, I get it marketing wise, but <clears throat> some people just want that to be enter. And pressing enter doesn't mean that you're always ascending. <laughs> That's just an, a little nitpick of mine, but I just... I mean, that's fine to include a send. Those who want to use a send, use it. Yay! More power to you. But for those that want to just have an enter key that matches their keycap set, and there is none, it's... I don't know. I mean, I have plenty of keycap sets that include enter key novelty, sometimes a few of them. But there's always just a base enter key that I can just, if I just want the enter key, I can use an enter key. I don't know. But maybe that's just me being a little too nitpicky. All right, so here we are with the fully built GMMK Pro loaded up with the Raptor clicky switches and the Polychroma keycaps. And I've got to say, I I don't dislike it. I'm usually just not a fan of clicky switches. Perhaps it's the, you know, the new bottom with the flex kit. I don't know if it's the flexi action. I don't know if it's the, the tactility with the feedback that's not really high pitched i'm used to a blue or a clicky being a little bit more high pitched but this is like a bit of a fun tactile actually now let's see what it looks like with the rgb on Woo! yeah now we definitely have some lights let me turn down the lights in here so there i think you can see how well the lights are coming through. I mean, that that is looking pretty pretty snazzy. Um, I know it's a bit of a... Maybe it's a nitpick, maybe it's not. But since I can still see the columns for the stems, for the keycaps, it kind of... It detracts a little bit from it. I mean, I don't know if there was any other way they could have done that. Like maybe done a completely clear inner shot that, you know, would not leave those shadows. But taking that aside, it's a nice looking keycap set. I could see this on a white on or even a blue. I mean, it works on a black, but I'd prefer a lighter color like the blue or especially the white on the ice white. Um, GMK Pro, GMMK Pro. I think it would look very nice. The keycaps are pretty cool. I do like them. I, I will probably try these on a couple of different boards, though. That's the thing. That there's not much really great kitting on here. Um, you can do a full size, you can do a TKL, and you can do their 75%. But I don't think I'm, I'm, I would be able to do a 65% um, I'd be able to do a 60% and there'd be some other layouts that I don't think that I'd have the options to fill those with. Um, besides the Ascend key, um, GMK only seems to want to make uh, keycaps for 
just the keyboard layouts that they cover or that they carry, but they really should just add one more tray or add a few more keys so that the kitting would allow for Alice layouts, 40s, some different, you know, include a seven, you know, seven use space bar, um, include the keys for it to sing in bottom row. Just sticking to layouts that they offer is limiting in my opinion. Uh, if they had more options, perhaps people would buy them and use them on different keyboards, but I guess they just want to cater to the GMMK customers alone. Anyway, um, I'm honestly surprised. I, I did not expect to enjoy the clickies as much as I am, and um, I, 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 I think I might play with this for a while. I mean, I do have the Gyrus 80 on my desk right now, and I'm quite enjoying using that. But uh, somebody actually asked a while ago for me to do, was it with the Zoom 75, I believe? They were like, hey, why don't you do a foamless build with some clicky switches? And I'm like, at the time, I was like, mm, I don't know. But now I'm thinking that I may just do that. I think that would be a very interesting combination. I've been been ignoring clickies for too long. Maybe I need to pay them some more attention as, I mean, they're basically just a hyper tactile and louder. They're a, they're a hyperactive and louder tactile, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with this sound test. Uh, now, the board is stock with the flex kit. I haven't added any other mods besides the flex kit mod. Um, and We've got the Raptor switches. I only lubed the one, but I think I left that one out of this batch. And the Polychroma PC keycaps from Glorious. If you guys have any questions, as always, uh, leave them down in the comments below. I do my best to answer as many comments as possible. I, I, I answer all of them, at least the ones that I can. I can. Some of them I just I don't have an answer. Sometimes they're just a comment, not really a question. But... Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinion. Let's start a conversation going. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.